everyone welcome back to remorse fabrics i hope you guys absolutely love the last video junk in my trunk if you do these are some of the fabrics that um i did obtain on that adventure and so this is the first thing i'm presenting you guys um my goal is that every day or every other day i'll be presenting something new for those who are on the list for that junk in my trunk this is one of the items that someone had requested they wanted some fall themed sunflower um fabric hats that will help them with their craft. So I started with this about these friends just around the corner. We got Thanksgiving and fall is here a few months. Um, so what you see here is exactly what you're getting. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Selena. I'm showing you guys um, one new item that has been stocked into the shop. I only have nine of these, um, just enough that hopefully somebody can grab them. Um, down below is my direct link. You can follow me on Facebook. Instagram. I'm not, I don't do Twitter, but down below is all the direct links that you can follow. I also have an Etsy shop. That's the pinch. That's what I'm showing you is products that I'm putting into the shop. Mostly what you see here is vintage. Um, and the gift of purchase is this art yarn that you see here. That is just absolutely adorable. I did six yards of it on this cute little, if you can see here, uh, wooden spool. And these guys are just kind of tucked in here. Um, this little art yarn. Um, I just kind of like tucked them in there. I'll pull them out here in a minute to show you guys. But um, what you see here, like I said, is exactly what you are getting. Down below is the direct link to this listing. If you're wanting this pack, it is only $24. Um, I put I put a lot of time and enough effort to just kind of pick out the colors and you know make it just so imperfect. I'm just gonna dig right in. It's gonna be a quick video because I wanted to just pretty much show it to you because like I said, what you see is what you get. The listing links down below, you can look at more details. In that listing link as well is a really cute um, 20 second video that also shows you and I provide the photos. And in the description, it tells you exactly what you're getting. Each one of these, for those who watch my videos often, I usually keep the fabrics around 10 and a half by 14 and a half inch cuts. Each and every one that you're gonna see today is that. One, because it, it does help with all the different kind of people who follow. We got the doll artist, we have the junk journaling, of course, because those are perfect for covers and has scraps and stuff. Um, we do have the quilters. We have the slow stitchers. So I'm trying to uh, present um, products that you can go towards all those type of themes. And it's perfect for the fall, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous, I think. So I'm going to dive right in. Like I said here, um, this here is like my gift of purchase. I found this really cute art yarn that was gorgeous, and I just I just kind of spun on there six yards, which is a great deal, right? And I tucked in there these cute leaves, which I think the cute, um, what did I do here? I think cute is my word of the day. <laughs> paper clips. I thought it would be a really neat idea um, if you put them on paper clips, and then you, if you're a journaler, you could, um, I'm doing yard work. I got like battle wounds everywhere. You can glue them on there. I don't know. Can you stitch them on there? I've never done it before, but I was thinking these would be really neat. If I had time, I would have done it for you guys. But um, I think they'd be cute on paper clips that you can put on your pages. So I put three cute fall leaves. They're like um, almost like a they're like in the silk flower department, and they're tiny. And I think they'd be cute on pages and stuff. I thought. And then there's one large one right here, um, like that. Now, if I had leftover art yarn um, from these kits, I do have these in the shop. If you don't get a kit and you really want the six yards um, of this art yarn, I think I only have them for $5. So I have them on this cute little wooden spool. Again, I said the word cute. <laughs> and it's got this cute little, again, I said cute. I'm telling you, that word today has been on my mind. I guess I just have to just accept it. It has like orange, browns, a little tint of a little blue. I don't know if you see that in there. And it comes on this really nice um, wooden spool, which I like a lot. Here's the fabric that you see. What really got my attention was this sunflower fabric. Gorgeous. I'll open up one so you can kind of get the, the gist of the size of the fabrics that you're getting. Again, really nice. 10 and a half by 14 and a half inch cut. Look at those sunflowers. Isn't that just beautiful? At least I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I love sunflowers. I love them. And this beautiful um, green fabric. It's really thick. And what I like about it too is that, of course, I love the green side. But look at the other side. If you flip it over, even if you stitch it down, say if you are journaling, 
I mean, look at that, the astute binding on something. It's just a gorgeous inside base lining. I thought it was adorable. And then you get um, an upholstery fabric that is like a plaid woven. It's got some burgundy greens, creams, and beiges. A nice piece of vintage lace. Look at that. Do you see that? You just fold it in half, as you can see. This is a beautiful linen upholstery. It's got the cute threading. This has weaves on it. It's got like an ivory. Can you see the weaves in there? It has like the ivory, but it also has like this greenish tint backdrop. I hope the lighting's got it. And of course, you guys know I had to put a little sari in there. Like I said, Jake, that's my room. My auto room is um, in and out. And I thought it was gorgeous. It was a beautiful piece that matched with the orange theme. So we've got, what was it, seven fabric or eight fabric? And this cute tie. Is that, is that going to look cute? <laughs> I'm telling you. It's one of those days. All right, so each tie, there will be three vintage buttons. I made sure, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Bakelite, but I, each pack has a vintage Bakelite form. They're not all the same. It was and nearly, I wish my lighting could get this here. There we go. I got my light. I'm going to move it over to show you a little bit better. Hopefully the lighting's good. I'm in the warehouse, so it's kind of dim. A bake light um, is uh, really beautiful. It's like an orangey canary color. And then you'll have a yellow button. Each, like I said, each kit is different. Um, so message me if you want this one, first come, first serve kind of thing. This one was just cute. It, again, I said the word cute. Oh my goodness, people. <laughs> Comment down below. Selena, stop saying the word cute. <laughs> um, it just looks good. See, with it. And um, I just made sure I matched the yellows. And then a gold button will be in each one. I put two, two vintage doilies in each. We have this one here. And it's with tiny guys. And then um, trends, man. So you got Rick Rack, of course. You gotta have a little Rick Rack. Look at that on, I put it right on the ground so you can see. Now all the trends are from, I think this is 18 inches, the brown one here. I think it's 18 inch, yeah, it's folded. There we go, see there. This here came vintage, vintage Cranston work, VIP fabric. Rick Rack is vintage too. Like I said, most of it's vintage. This came off a piece of fabric that was just pretty because it, oh wow. We, uh, those who don't know, the hurricane is nearby us. So then you're going to have like a little bit of shaking going on. I apologize. I'm not going to, I'm North Florida. I'm to the left side. So we're just getting a lot of wind and rain. So it just matches really well, I thought. We have some green lace. Oops, trying to get my camera. I got a new camera set up, guys. And then we have like the white lace that is left over from the lace over here and left over piece of the sari that I have here. Of course, we got the cute, uh, gosh, the word cute again, Billy. This is the smallest piece of trim. I think this one's five inches. It's, I didn't have a whole lot, but I wanted everyone to have a piece of it. It might be good for a pocket, I think. I thought it just was nice. It went well with it. And then swatches, I had leftover fabrics. Instead of putting them in a scrap bin, I put them in your guys' little pack. Same thing with the trim. Like this here was the end of the fringe of this upholstery. And I just put it in the pack. Because I know you could probably use it for something. Plaid, what have you. So, okay guys, run on over there. Grab your slate can. Again, I think they're only $24. Inexpensive, lightweight. If you're international, they're under a pound. So... I know shipping is free in the USA if you spend $35 or more. Um, so if you add something more to your cart that gets to $35, you get the free shipping. But um, if you don't want any more items, shipping is around $5, which is nice. This Everything is lightweight. Again, that is nice, isn't it? I'm putting that in there. Can't beat the six yards of heart yarn. I had a big ball of it, so I, of course I had to share it with you guys. So international, like I said, if you're going to be shopping internationally, they um, it's under a pound. So it's going to be the lightest weight when it comes to shipping. So if you're international and you're not sure what the shipping is going to be, same thing for the United States. If you just put this item in your cart and um, you go to checkout, and don't check, you won't check out yet, but if you put it in your cart and you go to the checkout area, it has your address. So it will give you the estimate calculated price of what shipping is going to be. 
So that's the best way to know if you're curious, like how much is shipping to say, just from Florida to California is gonna be different than, you know, obviously I think you guys get the drift. So um, put it in your cart and it'll tell you the exact calculated price for you, what shipping is gonna be. All right guys, I hope you absolutely love this pack. Again, this is like from the junk journal, not junk journal, but the junk in my trunk. And this is one of the requests. I've met it, like I said, I only have nine of those. I'm on to the next item, guys. Keep a heads up because I'm gonna be popping out a bunch of different videos and a bunch of new products in the shop. And then I'm trying to meet everybody's requests on the list for the junk in my trunk. And this is junk in my trunk uh, list number one, guys. You guys have a beautiful day and oh, hey, beautiful weekend. Woo, hear that wind? Woo Hopefully I'll be okay, guys. All right, we'll meet. We'll we'll get past these hurricanes. You guys have a good one. Bye.